forever. Dog. Hello, friends. Hello, little brats. This is Megan Salter from Confronting Demons with Megan Salter. Nick is asleep, and we have some very exciting news. So hold on to your horses, girls. Forever Dog just launched a low-cost premium subscription service called Forever Dog Plus, where you can listen to ad-free versions of your favorite Forever Dog podcasts, including Confronting Demons. Forever Dog Plus is simple and easy to use. Just go to foreverdogpodcast.com slash plus, sign up, and you'll get a link that automatically opens in your preferred podcast app. And before you know it, you got access to over 3,000 hours of ad-free listening and counting. Then, each week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the newest episodes of Confronting Demons will automatically show up in your app, ad-free and ready to play. That's right. It's all there. It's all right at your little fingertips. Forever Dog Plus is not only convenient, it's affordable. It's just $4.99 monthly or $39.95 yearly. That's $4.99, not even $5 a month or $39.95 for an entire year to listen to Forever Dog Podcast you love and nonstop ad free. I'm screaming right now. That's not all. What the heck? How do you mean that's not all? Well, if you sign up before October 19th, you'll qualify for a special founding member's discount of 10% off. For as long as you remain a member, what the hell? That's a 10% off lifetime discount if you sign up before October 19th. So go to foreverdogpodcast.com slash plus, or just follow the link in the show notes, babe, and sign up, babe, today, babe, and lock it in that founding member, founding father's discount, and start listening to all your forever dog faves nonstop and ad-free. Forever dog plus. (laughs) Forever dog. Or maybe just a small gripe Something doesn't seem right Until I confront them and they make nice The world is full of snakes and whores Get through the grim that's in the world Confronting demons with Megan Confronting demons with, confronting demons with Megan Stalter Or, or Meg Stalter, sometimes I go by Meg Hi, and welcome to Real Talk. It's about to get really real today. Oh, I didn't know you were the one that was going to be sort of the face of the podcast today. We didn't talk about it. No, I like it. Go go ahead. Intro. No, well, that's all I had. Played. Well, here's my intro. Well, guess. Oh, uh, guess what, everyone? Shut the hell up about us having a Real Talk episode. You guys won't see. Whoa, je- call, won't stop. cool your jets, dude. Wait, cool your jets, dude. You no, can't be talking to them stop. like that. They won't stop. <laughs> Bring real talks back. Oh my god, we hate the other podcast. Well, that's cool. Your jets, dude. To be <laughs> honest with you, I miss the hell out of the real talks. You know, I miss the I real miss talks. the hell out of them. Of course, I miss the real talks. But you know what? The the people are don't need to drag down the the an incredible character work that we're delivering constantly every week, constantly in our personas. But everybody's going, oh, this is funny, but I kind of miss the real talks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are they saying bad things this. about the regular one? They're not saying about bad the, things, the bit, but they're, the, they are the making character me feel part. a little bit bad. Yeah. They're saying they're saying like, oh sh- shit. Yeah. <laughs> don't are act going, like oh, that, guys. Shit. Oh god. Like any. T- <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're not gonna do. It. What are we? A bunch of your? Are we dance? Are we? Do we do dances for you guys? You guys say dance and we say how high. <laughs> I wouldn't really ask my. Fans, kidding. I I think it's so funny to say fans. I always say followers because followers implies you follow back. Uh, fans implies that you're Jennifer Aniston. But I <laughs> love when my followers. Guys, by the way, she talk. actually has no problem saying fans, and she says fans a lot. <laughs> so like, around. she'll be like, to get a <laughs> to get an extra pump of caramel at um, Starbucks, mm. she'll say, "Are you a fan of mine?" You yes. Know? And well, if they yeah. say yes, she'll get an extra couple pumps. <laughs> when I take lunch orders around the house, just me and Nick. Hey. 
does my fans want anything for lunch? I'm going to run out. You know, call Nick my fan. No, I would never yeah, say shut the hell up. I would fans. never say, I would never tell my fans and followers to shut the hell up. I was kidding. So if you stop the podcast already, I guess that means you don't trust me to take you on the journey back. But we wanted to do a real talk episode because Nick, um, sorry, he peed in my bed the other day. Kidding. <laughs> Hey, Meg, you can't you can't say things like that. Sorry. Sorry. We we actually want to do a real talk because Nick keeps shitting his pants while I'm driving hey, him to the Meg, park. Can't. He keeps shitting all over my car, so I thought I'd come hey. him. What? You can't, you can't be telling people that I did that. <laughs> I, I didn't do that. I, I already know this is about to be an episode that tra- change it changes everything. This, about to this episode everything. is about to change everything. And they're going to take the Drew Barrymore show away from Drew and they're going to give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, I love. That's a scary dream I to have. I don't, don't want to get into Drew Barrymore show, but I'm going to say I'm loving it. I haven't, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched the, any, like, the clip of it or any clips of it, but I've seen sort of like the thumbnail for the clip of it and I can definitely mm. imagine exactly how the whole thing goes. It's so good. I'm she's obsessed sort of, with her. She's. I bet she's like... Hi, and this is a dog, and this dog is really funny. Whoa! Like Nick. showing like a clip of like a you know. I didn't know you did that sound like her? impressions. Did that sound like her? Yeah, you need to do that for a SNL audition. I've been doing it really quietly a lot of the time. <laughs> I, okay, so there is a clip, Practicing. and I think I told you this, but there's a clip of um, Drew Barrymore has like backstage stuff, like backstage scenes. She has a she has her talk show, and then she has a series of back. Stage stuff that's like the making wow. of the show, which is so funny really to put out. Milking that one, aren't they? <laughs> I know to put out a full series about also the the making of a show that just started a week ago. You yeah, know, you got to have people liking the show, wanting the show, wanting <laughs> I to love know it. more about I the show, it. wanting to know more about the people who make yeah. the show, how the show get made, who does this. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like a couple seasons go by, then you're like, okay, what will tell us more? But she's telling us more already, and there's a clip yeah. of her in a dr- the dressing room getting ready for her show, and she's sobbing, and she's. Going, I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe this. I hate the sound of my own voice. And and like everyone around her is just like unfazed, like just getting her dress, like putting a boot on her while she's sobbing. And I'm go, that's me. That's me. That's you. That's, that's me. me. And that's, that's you. Me. You're the that's guy putting a boot every, on me. That's that's also every um that's also every Chuck E. Cheese mascot getting ready to go out <laughs> to the restaurant. <laughs> Getting ready to go out to the restaurant and, and agree to kind of throw the tickets and stuff. They're also kind of looking in the mirror and do it. And I think it's probably very similar. <laughs> do you think someone helps them get dressed? Someone's putting yeah. on a big, ar- someone's his big arm. On, someone's putting on his big arm. Somebody else is putting on those big shoes that he's got on. And he's sort of looking in the mirror like this. And I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but it's like this. <laughs> he's going, I can't believe I'm doing this. I hate I the sound of my own this. voice. <laughs> I hate the movement oh, of my body. Boy. Oh, boy. We God, kid, we kid. Be fun. But welcome hey, back, this folks. Is this gonna, is an episode of Real Talk. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. <laughs> no, really. We did really miss doing the Real Talks. And we're, we're going to give you one once in a while, maybe. And Not making any decisions right have, now. I think we have a couple of good stories for you guys today. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know Barney was joining us. No. <laughs> oh, Nick's taking off his ear- earphones. He's standing up. He's my leaving earphones. What if my ear was ear- bleeding? My ear's really hurting. That's all. Ow. Oh my god! Remember yesterday? Yesterday for a video, I put I I, I smashed earrings in my ears, even though they haven't oh, had yeah. earrings. Hasn't had earrings in years. She's like, it's fine. My, They're so red. My ears immediately I, turned red. If you could see them right now, all I, when I'm looking are at her they, right now, all I see are <laughs> swollen ear, ear lobes. <laughs> They're poking out of the side of her head. Like, they look so <laughs> swollen right now. I actually didn't notice this earlier, but no, in this I'm webcam, curious. they look like a cartoon. No. They're like swollen, bulging out they, of your head. Honestly, if I touch them, they do kind of hurt. No, they're fine. <laughs> they I look literally like, crazy. <laughs> Nick was driving. Well, we're going to get into this, but. And I, lo- I have always dreamed of saying that we're going to get into this. I love, I love <laughs> to say that on a podcast. But that's we- actually, yeah, we've been talking about doing a catchphrase or something, and we're thinking, let's get into this is maybe should, the I one. Don't know. Do you think that's? We're trying at a couple, so let's get into this as one is option. One. Who's your doctor? Uh, is another? Yeah, who's, who's your doctor? Is another? Third one might be. Think of hey! it. Hey. And then a, fo- a fourth one is. Ow! 
So you guys just comment comment below on which one that you think that we should have. Yeah, this is a YouTube live video. Comment below and also like and subscribe. We're not doing well on TikTok. Um, but on the way, I had Nick. I had Nick film a video for me yesterday. I don't even know if this is what we. Yeah, let's talk about it. I wanted Nick. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Nick filmed a video with you yesterday. Oh, yeah, Nick filmed a video with me. And what then- am I? What am I? <laughs> a uh, chump chain or something well i do want to bring up the fact that you pay me to help so like anytime nick wants to jump in on a video kind of film me he actually pays me oh, oh yeah. nick is so distracted right now because his ears hurt so bad oh, my ear i just really you totally bad. missed the joke i, I was like said. i missed what you were doing and i <laughs> you know? sort of was like and then you just, said, just yeah. say yeah just say yeah literally i said <laughs> i was making fun of him and saying that you pay to help me and then you just said yeah and i think way. what happened i think here's what if i'm gonna be honest about what happened was and emma you can cut all of this out if you want to mm-hmm. and not that you would have to but it would be sort this of like up talk. to your judgment leave in you, leave in leave in okay leave hey, in emma, those don't, moments. Even th- don't even think about touching any of this or taking anything out or <laughs> adding anything to it don't well, do you anything could, you like that add some sound effects yeah, if you wanted the sound effect or two. Like right here, maybe go boink, mm. boink. Oh, boing, ding dong. <laughs> I just started <laughs> drooling. <laughs> Here's what happens. So usually on this, usually on the podcast, like when it's a character episode, there's a third person here. And that person, <laughs> I want to let that person talk mm. as much as they would possibly want to. I never want to be stepping on what they're saying. Yeah. And some of you out there sure. might be saying, well, you're doing a bad job of it. <laughs> and to that, I would say, keep it to yourself okay, and don't tell me that about from? that. But where is this coming from? <laughs> the reason a second ago Megan was talking and I wasn't even hearing her, I just said, yeah, mm-hmm. was because um, sometimes when the third person's here and I'm trying to let them talk, I'll check out for a second. No. And you may have noticed before, Nick. but I'll be thinking, my ear's hurting. I'm you thirsty, can't black you know? out while a guest is talking. That's pee. not being intense. You're, you're trying to I be intentive. And I'm intentive? sorry. I'm trying to be honest. I'm trying to do a little bit of real talk today. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that, but <laughs> I need you. I need you to stay alert during the podcast. I can't be doing all the character work. Well, you never even notice. I mean, you never I know. Even That's what I'm saying. Quick, I'm like, quick, quick, you are quick, alert. Back, you're back, alert. Back. You're alert. You're alert. You're alert. The whole time, I but... never notice you check out. You're always. <clears throat> Always. There's usually about 10 to 15 minutes of every episode that no. I have gone for. You fully check Just... out for 15 or are you like throughout? If are you watching the, the little <laughs> Are you watching the little people up at the top? Because if you did, about 30 minutes into last episode, you see me go like this. <sighs> Wait, so so you, you guys can't see it, but my head's sort of spitting in my eyes. You shouldn't eyes broadcast that you're checking out <sighs> during the guest. Wait, are you saying 15 minutes fully? Like... There's a point in time you check out for 15 minutes or is there like you add up uh, all could the be, minutes? It could be split up throughout. It could if, be all together. Because I've never noticed There's been that. a couple times where it's all in a row. 15 you minutes know. straight. You're blacked 15 out. 15 minutes straight. Don't say one word. Just totally. No. Ooh. You have always been the best. You're, you're the best improviser. Hey, 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 hey. You are the best improviser money can buy. You are the and most amazing. I actually just started drooling on my mic. What is wrong with us? <laughs> we're like doing a lot of too, drooling today. I feel like we're in the studio. Sick. We're doing a lot of drooling in the studio today. And <laughs> too I think sick babies. Oh, I think I think this is um going really good. And when and I mean we're too sick to babies, I don't mean actually sick. I mean like you know how if a baby oh, like we're not has sick a cold, at all. Neither was we're not sick. sick, we're not sick. Neither was and and sick. A, a sick baby's not funny, but you know how if a baby has a cold, they're like drooling, they're sort of drooling on whatever they're eating. That's kind of like Okay, Nick just blacked out again. Okay, so let's get into what we actually were. I'm just kidding. Hey, I would never do that to you. And you did just look exactly out the window. What you're talking about. Oh yeah, you know huh? how babies like grow exactly kind of like when they about. have a, a slight cold. It's not like, funny that a baby's sick, but they're drooling. Okay, so yeah. yesterday Nick <laughs> was going to film a video, help me with a video because he has an artful eye. He's amazing. He makes everything funnier. On the way there, I decided that the character needed some earrings. It was a a, a fake commercial for Jared's Jewelers. And I started smashing in the earrings in my ears, and I told Nick. Wait, the to moral of that whole of what happened yesterday was about the earrings. No, that's just the in beginning. your eyes. That's no, just the beginning. That's just okay. the beginning. That's just. I the, just wanted. That is I wanted just to make sure you were <laughs> to pepper some <laughs> some color to the story. I wanted to make sure you weren't thinking about only talking about the earrings. I was like, a lot more happened than just no, the earrings. No, this is a and huge I think confrontation. Want to know a lot more about the confrontation yeah, part of it is, than the earrings. This is part. a huge confrontation. Me and Nick have been through a lot of confrontations. I think this week, oh. this month. Oh my god! I can't even remember him. Yeah, am I supposed to be? A, I'm, 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, guys. Uh, Megan, uh, something bad am happened. I be, am I supposed to be in a court case right now? <laughs> am I supposed to be in a court case right now? We have that many confrontations is what I was trying to say. Oh, I okay. I think I, I might have checked out right after you. I think I might have checked out in the middle of that sentence. You're going to need I, to I check in. I didn't know what in. you were saying at the end. You have to stay checked in. It's just me and you. Yeah. Like if you check out, what am I? I'm gonna just start I know. singing. Well, I think that to I think that by actually bringing it up and talking about it, that is me checking back in. Thank is you. Is to say I just checked well, out. Well, if this was video, and I'm ready to check back in. They would see how many times you blankly stared at me already, <laughs> and you just kind of like are drinking That's the Starbucks true. I gave, I brought you. <laughs> oh yeah. That's true. Uh, can I get some brownie points for being the best sister? After this podcast comes out, mm -hmm. I guarantee you. There's mm. going to be about 17 DMs of people trying to have sex with me because they know how endearing. Whoa. Wait, listen, because they know how endearing I am with my siblings. That was so <coughs> strange. And I think it actually has a lot to do with what happened to us yesterday because that, wait, someone thought that, that we were not, in a weird relationship. Wait, that's not because weird. I, uh, I'm okay, just kidding. Wait, okay. Well, you're talking about, so, wait, 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 wait. You're jumping, wait. From, you're jumping from how you treat your siblings to how you'd have sex with someone. No, And I oh don't think God, that people no. exactly. No, I think that, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that um, <laughs> someone could be seen as endearing with their family and then you'd be like, mm. oh, I kind of have a crush on them. It doesn't have okay. anything to do with sex. But you said sex. That's the part that you said. Yeah, but you it's said, it, to, to make it funnier. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, by the way, but Megan is actually uh, <laughs> Megan is always buying people, th buying me things, buying everybody in our family thing, and saying, um, really expressing okay, how much okay. she cares. Okay, you don't have to wingman me. I'm just saying, like, I'm I don't. I'm so not go ahead and start sending those DMs about having sex no, with my no, sister. No, no. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Wait, do you really think I'm creeping you out right now? Now I'm no, literally having a no. panic attack. I was saying though that don't you ever get that? Because okay, so let me mm. give you an example. Anytime I post a video where like you're being funny and me and Abby, our sister, Maddie, our sister are laughing at you, <laughs> uh -huh. then there's tons of comments that are like, is he single? So like, mm -hmm. I think it's attractive to see someone having fun with their family. Interacting with their family. It's One not, person sent me a picture of my own lips. Oh my God. Wait, we have to talk about that. Hi, Forever Dog listeners. It's Meatball and Big Dipper. That's right. I'm here, too. So this year, we have seen what staying silent can do. Mm. Oof. Woof. <laughs> and right now, you have an unprecedented opportunity to speak up. We all do. So make sure to cast your vote and be heard this November. It's never too early to register to vote, but it might be too late before you know it. Right. So we want to help make it easy for you to register and have a plan for November 3rd or before if you're doing early voting as an option in your state. Yes, Queen, please do. Right. It's important to vote so that your country can finally reflect your values. So go to foreverdogpodcast.com slash vote to register. Check on your registration often and learn how to fill out your ballot. That's right. If you haven't registered to vote yet, this is a really easy way to do it. And uh, it feels like it's not outside your comfort zone because you love podcasts. You listen to our podcast and you can do it very easily at foreverdogpodcast.com slash vote. And remember, each state is different. So make sure you are following your local rules and regulations for where you register to vote. Yeah, and take care of yourselves and take care of each other and make sure to vote because there's a demon in the office. <laughs> Hello, Forever Dog listeners. This is Julie Klausner. And I'm Tom Sharpling. And we host a podcast called Double Threat on the Forever Dog Network that we are commanding you to subscribe to. Tom, what is Double Threat? Well, thank you for asking, Julie. Double Threat's a show where you and I listen to clips of things that drive us up the wall, and we make fun of them, and we make each other laugh, and we have a great time doing it. And we watch silly things and listen to silly clips, like Alec Baldwin interviewing Woody Allen on his podcast, which was a nightmare from hell. And did you know that disgraced pizza magnate Papa John is giving tours of his mansion over on TikTok? We do, because we watched it. And it was not good. By the way, we should also mention that the AV Club named us one of the best podcasts of 2020 because they did, and it's true, and we are, baby. And here on Double Threat, we got great guests. We had guests like Jesus and Mero. Bob the Drag Queen. Patton Oswalt. Io Adebri. And that 
my friends, is just the tip of the iceberg. That Double is. Threat comes out each and every Monday, and you can subscribe on the Forever Dog Network, Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Do it. Subscribe. Goodbye. Did we mention it on another no, episode or something like I don't that? I know. feel like we did. This was so recent, Nick. Oh, well, Let this it. is sort of a confrontation. This is somebody <laughs> I'd like to confront. So I'm confronting whoever sent me that photo of my own. I know lips. exactly who it was. Oh, okay. Well, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Don't let them know that I've seen it. So a strange. It was a stranger, though, of both of us. I've like, had this, and yeah, and I've had this. I've had this like this. They had sent me this photo a really long time ago, and I thought, well, I don't know whose lips these are. This is weird. Mm-hmm. And it was just like close up of a pair of lips, and it was actually really kind of scary because like you open them <laughs> when you open the message in the like message request, and um, you open the message in the message request, and it's just like a sort of like it's like a tan looking blurry photo, and it says that like Instagram go has goes ahead and it, it blurs it for you just in case there's something just in case nasty there's something bad. Under there. Which, by the way, is funny when it's not bad. Like just yeah. yesterday, I I revealed like a picture of a garden. It was like yeah. we're protecting you from this image, and then I I clicked on like to reveal it. And yeah, like, and I'm yeah. actually I'm way more afraid of the blurred Im- like it's way scarier when yeah. it's blurred when you're like, well, what does Instagram think I shouldn't be able to see? Right. And um hey, so that but right, I had that for a right. while. Right. <laughs> and I had that for a while before um I showed it to my sisters. And that mm. that's Q U Meg and Abby are my sisters and I showed them. And when you showed us <laughs> They had two very different responses. So, uh, <laughs> Megan, what was your response? Well, at first, Abby said, our sister Abby looked at them and she said, ooh, kind of sexy lips. And then mm-hmm. I looked at the image and I was like, those are Nick's lips. He sent, this mm-hmm. person sent you a picture of your own lips and you didn't recognize your own lips. Yeah, I really and didn't recognize our them. our sister said that it, you had sexy lips because she thought you were a stranger. And I got to give her credit because that was a really sexy photo of my lips. What? I'm just kidding. But we don't. Know I don't even where know where he got it came from. from. But it is no, so it clearly looks like, you. It looks like there was a hidden camera in my shower that and took there, the photo. And we're gonna repeat that. Everything Jesus? in the photo. Everything in the photo is wet. Everything. My lips really? are wet. My skin is wet. The wall that you can kind of see behind me is wet. I have no idea where they got the photo. So if you are that person who sent me that photo, can you go ahead and also send me a follow up message where saying where you found that photo? From. Well, that because it's person been torturing sent, me. has sent me pictures of myself from my old Facebook. So I think oh, that person has sent wow. is, like found your dive. Facebook, and I bet it's a picture of you swimming or something, right? I don't think I have any photos of me swimming on Facebook. <laughs> That's the crazy oh, thing is Nick gosh, doesn't my, have a lot of pictures my, on Facebook. My, it's my <gasps> my that year that I did this the swim team and I posted all those photos on Facebook. <laughs> I literally of me thought and the swim you team. were gonna be serious. I thought you figured it out. I thought you went <gasps> picture of me diving <gasps> on the diving board. <laughs> picture me on a picture of me on a diving board. On a diving board. <gasps> no. <gasps> it's a picture of me on the diving board. <laughs> no, I did I did that cover for <laughs> diving board magazine. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh god! I just remembered I was in a big bathtub, <laughs> and I posted a picture of it in Bathtub oh, Magazine. Oh brother! No, this hey, person has sent me. You crack pictures. me up. You crack you me crack up. Me and up. I don't think anybody else. I don't hey, think anybody hey, else hey, is hey. as much of a crack up as you are. You crack me the hell up. I feel like I'm you in pieces me. right you now. You crack. You're cracking my butt off. <laughs> you are making me. Okay, can I? Can I put us in the running for best siblings in the world? <laughs> what if during this quickest? <laughs> No, 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 you go. Oh, wait, you no, no, go. no, 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 you, you go no, you no, 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 I didn't oh, have anything. I didn't have anything. Please no, go, on, go ahead. I had nothing. I had nothing. Well, I had mine, nothing. Mine's been I had nothing. Please save me. I'm drowning. No, 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 I'm drowning right now. I'm oh drowning. I'm drowning. That's the picture save he me. sent you as a picture of you right now drowning. Oh, wait, we have to get back to the story from Yeah, we definitely yesterday. do. Okay. We've gone sorry, somewhere. Sorry, and I sorry. also have one other one. I have one other one. Too. Oh, I have about 800 things I want to talk about. I was just picking one really, I was picking one that I had, that I had remembered a lot of. That Ooh, I, I can't, can't talk wait. about. I can't so wait I'm, to I'll... dive into that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so okay, so we are on our way. I wanted I I was like, can I wake you up early? Can you film me in front of Jared Strulers for a And I don't know if here's something that's shocking to me. Before you post <laughs> that video, I had I wasn't even thinking about the fact that some people maybe don't have a Jared's. Because Jared's is oh. such a it's such a facet in my when I think yeah. of jewelry, I think of Jared's. Jared's. When I think of jewelry, I think of Jared's. 
And it didn't occur to me that some people probably, I mean, like across the country, most people don't have vaginas by you them. Think that? That's sort of a, hey, lo- a local store, I what think. What made you think that? I don't think it's that local. Is I think it? it's like a local chain. Why don't you guys oh. let us know? Is Jared's a chain? Is, is Jared's, Jared's a chain? Do you have a Jared's by you? But even That's if you were watching this Instagram video, poll. they know it was a jeweler store with a name Jared. Right. But I thought it Jared was like K Jewelers. Everyone knows it. But no. No, every kiss begins with K. And everybody does know about that, but not. I don't think. Every, I don't think that Jared. Sometimes is in every restaurant I know, every place I know, I think everyone does. Like oh. I was talking to my friends the other day, and I mentioned Penn Station. Dead silence back to me, and I was like, "Oh, wow. do, I was like, oh my god, I love how Penn Station puts tomatoes on their the the way that they're." <laughs> The way that I they said, place those tomatoes on that the, sub the gets me going. The kind of tomatoes Penn Station, the sandwich place, has. And I literally was met with dead silence. And I was like, oh, y'all don't know Penn Station. And then I felt like, and they're like, no. And I was like, well, this Which, is the worst day of my life. That's kind of a really rude response to it. Like, so if you if somebody <laughs> mentioned some place that you didn't know about, you wouldn't you say like, wow, I got to try that place. Those tomatoes sound great. But really what they, they gave said, you was dead silence. stinky. I actually yeah. hate you now. And I don't want to be eating their sandwiches. I don't know if you should be friends with them. Okay, well, to be honest, I love them and I hate that you're talking about them like that. You always try to control my friends. I do. <laughs> okay, so we were on the way to Jared's Jewelers. I was smashing earrings in my ears. They were. I was really excited. The script was set. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys could see her swollen earlobes now. <laughs> Literally, I kept saying, they don't hurt that bad. But every time I'd move them, I'd be like, ow, 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 ow. I mean, I'm truly allergic. Like, cannot wear earrings. Like, I will wear... I had to wear one, them like for a show once and my ears were truly like bleeding sore, like couldn't concentrate. And then yesterday in the video, I was like, she has to have earrings. She's at Jared's Jewelers mm. and I'm, my ears are bloody red. Um, yeah. So <laughs> we get to Jared's <laughs> and I kept thinking, first of all, why are, why are jewelry stores open? Why, why are jewelry stores are open jewelry during COVID? Stores open right now. Order- your That's diamond what we're saying. bracelet online. Why are you going Order to a your jewelry diamonds online. store? You don't need to see diamonds in person. No. They're actually so small, you can't even see them when you're in person. You'd and be actually doing a much better job of looking at them online where you can mm-hmm. make them bigger and you could actually see them. To They're me, so they small all look in person. The same. Every diamond they look ring exactly looks the same. Exact, look exactly the same to me. Everyone look exactly <laughs> the same. Every Destiny's is a... Every diamond bracelet looks it's the same to me. Destiny's diamond is broken. There's a crack in it. Wouldn't, I would never, never know. You would never, never know. know. Maybe yeah, I'm not a unless jewel- you're a maybe jeweler not a with his little. Girl. <laughs> if you were, if you were a jeweler with his little, his mm. um, little uh, uh, little guy, the thing he holds on his eye. Yeah. And then maybe you could see it, but outside of that, I don't think you'd be able to see. Literally, it. Literally, like even if someone's like, if okay, so say like a friend shows you their ring, I wouldn't be able to tell. Oh my god, that's a! I wouldn't even be able to be like, that's huge. They all yeah. look the same to me. I, they all look yeah. the same to me. Every piece of jewelry looks the same, except for um, the beautiful necklace Nick made me for my birthday. Every well, other I guess piece I'll, of be, I'll be retiring. <laughs> I'll be retiring. Guys, I accidentally said I'll be retiring. And that means that it would be really dumb if I tried to finish what I was going to say. No, come on. So I need to know. I don't think I'm going to they finish need to what know. I was going to say. Nick. Nick. I was going to say, I guess I'll be returning the one that I got for mm. you. The mm-hmm. diamond. Mm-hmm. So we're, you, you lot, so we're in the parking lot, Jared. So we're in the parking lot. So we're in the parking lot, Jared's cars everywhere. And it's so every time we go to film something outside, like it's usually pretty fast, right? We did the Skyline mm-hmm. commercial. That was like a few seconds. Who cares when Oh my gosh. We were probably us. at that Skyline for maybe four minutes. Yeah. Very, maybe very quick. Maybe four minutes. People we walking, be very fast us. to the place. But this was kind of a bigger script, I'm going to be honest. It was about mm-hmm. 17 lines in front of the Jerry Stewart. It was a dense script. <laughs> and so when you're doing that, though, you have to think of like, you have to like change where you are mm. in every single shot. And when you're in a jewelry store parking lot, <laughs> there's not that many places to go. <laughs> so yeah, you end up by the dumpster. So all this to say we had a re- the, the most embarrassing moment of our life, which first started not that bad because... Oh, it didn't start... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was starting good. and Because the- I was there getting was ready situation. by the car. I was like doing a high ponytail because I was like, my hair mm. doesn't look right right now. It's like not doing it for me in the video. So I'm and, getting ready. Then, yeah. Were, were you, did we get any shots in before she came out? Like, did we, we do literally- any shots in? Did we <laughs> before, get any shots in? <laughs> before she came Jeez. out, we're already hinting at how horrible this became. Jeez. So, and also, just so you know, this is a teaser. Ready? She comes out twice, <laughs> and we even tell you 
Honey, we don't even tell you who it is that's coming out, but you're going to... It's the worst moment of our life. I don't know life. her. And if any of you do know her, then tell her <laughs> that I got a problem with we her. We are really embarrassed. So basically, <laughs> we got in maybe a couple shots of me with my hair down, and I, I was being so particular, even though we should have been rushing. And I was like, oh, I just don't like the earrings with my hair. I'm going to do a high pony. So I went over to the car, and this is riveting, by the way. <laughs> I know you guys wanted to know that. So I'm behind the car. Nick's in front of the car, and I'm brushing my hair, and all of a sudden we see little, 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 baby, little and Tilly when, coming when out. When you're of. doing something that you're nervous about doing, and you're thinking, I'm probably not supposed to be here doing this, and you see someone walking towards you, you're thinking, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah. This oh, little, no. What's she going to say? Tiny, Co- uh, employee, of, I was gonna say coworker, but we don't work there. So this little <laughs> employee of Jared's, one of our little coworkers. We also work at Jared's. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we were missing our shift to film this outside. She was That's why she was coming running out, running out at us. And I will say it's good that she wore a mask, but it's like mm-hmm. almost as if she was adjusting her mask walking out. So it's almost as if she wasn't wearing one when she was inside, and she had to wear it to get come out to us. And she was like, "Hey." What are you guys yeah. doing out here? Like she was trying to doing? be nice. I just wanted to know <laughs> what are you doing. You know? I, I was so nervous because, by the way, I was wearing a dress that was really strange. Oh, cut. it was crazy. It was, so it was really crazy. And if you haven't watched that video yet, you should probably go ahead and pause this and, <laughs> and go ahead go and watch, watch that video because it. it's, it's going to Jared- give you a lot of context. <laughs> I think it's titled like Don't Go to Jared's. And like my dress was cut very low, but then also there's giant slits <laughs> up the side. So my underwear show the entire time. Like I did not want them watching me wear this outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you didn't want anybody to see you. No. Yeah. So when she came out, I started trying to duck my head a little bit, but then I was like, I was struggling because I was like, okay, I don't want to leave Nick behind mm-hmm. in this, but then I also. Oh, but like- you did because you ducked him <laughs> immediately. So as soon as that woman had said any, as soon as she said one word, Megan was, you couldn't even see her. She was ducked this behind the car why. to the point where you wouldn't even be able to see her. Totally ducked this behind the car. Why. I look over at her and I, all I see are her eyes poking over the top of the car. Sort of like, you take it. And you should have, you were in normal clothes. I was basically in the sluttiest <laughs> outfit I own. And I was literally like, I'm making a video. Like, she was like, what yeah, are you guys doing? And so Nick, it's easier to say, oh, I'm filming <laughs> I was this like, video yeah. for her. Or like, oh, she's making a video. Yeah, my, to sister say, does tw- my sister does Twitter. <laughs> you know, my sister does Twitter. <laughs> How embarrassing. I make, videos, video. I make videos for YouTube. I'm making a video for YouTube right now. Instead of being like, I'm helping her do a video. So Nick, yeah, what did true. you say to her again? What was, that was it? I think I, I think I you think said uh, my I full said, name. I said, oh yeah. I told. Well, here's the thing. Because of the way that Megan was dressed, there were, and because of a few of the shots that we were doing, that we were gonna do, um, there uh, was definitely the uh, uh, the ability. There was an open interpretation of what could have been what going on. What could have been going on? And one of the interpretations was would be that maybe possibly we and this would be if you didn't know that we were brother and sister you could <laughs> maybe possibly think that we were uh filming a pornography because no! we were outside of a jewelry store megan has like no, her really hair in a hard. high ponytail she's barely wearing any clothes it's really really <laughs> and then we have shots where like i'm sitting on the ground and i'm filming her as she tries to sit onto the car but she's but really just sort of that didn't aiming her butt happen. at the camera when and moving she came it around. out that didn't even happen yet the, the most scandalous shot so she was being nice to us because she was like, yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah. it was, you're right. It's open to interpretation. Like so that's our, why I yeah. gave her, that's why I was giving her your name so that I was mm. thinking, well, maybe she, she can go inside. And ob- I mean, obviously they're all in there sitting there watching us talking yeah. about us. Of course. How could they not be? How could they not? And how could they so not? maybe they'll go, maybe she could go inside, tell them who you were, watch a video. Maybe they'll all cool out, relax, you know, cool their jets. Hey guys, don't worry. She's doing a video. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. everyone. She's doing a YouTube video. Don't worry. She's doing a video. And I think it's going to be a good one, <laughs> is what they were saying. We really thought. So Nick was like, oh, this is my sister, Megan Stalter, fully giving my full name while I'm sitting, like, standing right next to him. And Hiding behind a car. She was like, oh, cool. Well, and I think she was like, well, what's it about? And I said, it's, and then I popped up and I was like, it's like a commercial so in this woman's mind, I just told her we were yeah, doing a free commercial so on our phones. Weird. I didn't know what you else to say. You can't tell them you're doing a commercial for them because it can't be about them. If the video is about them in their eyes, they would be like, that would be like why they'd be like, well, you got to go then. You can't really. It put her more on the edge for, for me to say that. Yeah. But I also couldn't think like what did. else. Hey, oh, I'm doing a video just, about losing my dog. I didn't know. I couldn't yeah, think of anything. My diamonds. My diamonds. Oh, we're <laughs> and getting some new ones. 
<laughs> no, I truly um, and and she was like she literally was so trying to be nice, but I knew she was mm-hmm. nervous. And she was like, "You guys can even film inside." And I was yeah. like, "Okay." Which we got really excited about. Yeah. We were sort of she walks, she turns her back, and we're high fiving, and we're, we're kind of jumping. <laughs> we jump on the car. We're having, we're like really excited, like wow, we're gonna get some really good shots of inside. I kept saying it's worth, it's worth this shot. Going inside is worth, worth the shot. It's worth it. It's worth it. And then our shots got a little more scandalous. It, we had to do mm. the the scene where I was getting on top of the car and you were on the floor. And I me. wasn't when 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 we said when 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 I said <laughs> why don't you go ahead winner, and try to winner, climb onto winner, the winner. <laughs> why don't you go ahead and try to climb onto the roof of the car or to the hood of the car and I'll film you doing that. Mm. I wasn't thinking that you were going to do it the way that you did, and so I wasn't <laughs> expecting it to be like that. So Nick didn't obviously, and Nick said I was putting my butt at the camera. And if if we could put if we could play the unedited the clip could... of that of me filming that <laughs> oh you'd hear God. me say this is starting to get really weird and I'm like why and you're like you're putting your butt at the camera they're gonna think we're filming a pornography and I was yeah. like what and I'm like but this is like the character like my characters anytime I'm <laughs> yeah they don't I'm... know that you're a character <laughs> I know, though I know I know and so they then... think we're filming a pornography <laughs> and if you watch the video the clip of my butt is in there and it is good like. It's hot. It's funny. It Everyone definitely works it. for the video. It yeah. works for the video. It's a good clip. Yeah, it's a good shot. When I have a demon in my life, or maybe just a small gripe, something doesn't seem right until I confront them and they make nice. The world is full of snakes and whores. Get through the grim that's in the world. Confronting demons with Megan. Confronting demons with confronting demons with Megan Stalter or or Meg Stalter. Sometimes I go by Meg. Forever Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Confronting demons with Megan Stalter is executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. Senior producer Tracy Soren. Produced by Emma Foley. Original theme music by Henry Kapersky. Cover art by Sela Shaloni. To listen to this podcast ad-free, sign up for Forever Dog Plus at foreverdogpodcasts.com slash plus. Check out video clips of our podcasts on YouTube at youtube.com slash foreverdogteam. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at foreverdogteam to keep up with all the latest Forever Dog news.